Hello friends, welcome to the pristine channel. Guys, today topic is state management in PHP. Friends, today we will discuss PHP state management. In part 1 video, I will explain you PHP sessions, how to start a PHP session through session underscore start function, dollar session and PHP session example, PHP session counter and PHP session destroy. In part 2 video, I will explain you PHP cookies, PHP set cookies function, PHP dollar cookie, PHP cookie example and how to delete a PHP cookie. Friends, in my previous videos, I explained file handling topic better if you want to learn this you can find that video on our channel or previous blog link is also in the description and video link is also in mention in the description below guys i very frequently upload videos on various technologies i also create videos considering the interview questions in mind if you have any particular topic on which you want me to create detailed video let me know in the comment section below so please subscribe the channel and press the little bell icon. Let's start with PHP session. First of all friends, what is PHP session? For storing and passing the temporary information from one page to another, PHP session is used. For example, shopping websites where we want to store and pass the cart information from one page to another like username, product name, product price, product code. PHP session creates a file in a temporary directory on server where it is registered session variables and stored their values and the data will be available on all the pages during the visiting on sites. PHP session always creates a unique ID for each browser, user to recognize user and avoid conflict between multiple browsers. When you work with an application, you open it, do some changes and then close it. This is much like a session. The computer knows who you are. It knows when you start the application, when you end, but on the internet there is one problem. The web server does not know who you are and what you want to do because HTTP address doesn't maintain state. Session variable solve this problem by storing user information to be used across multiple pages. Example username favorite color etc. By default session variable last until the user closes the browser. So session variable hold information about one single user and are available on all pages in one application. If you need to permanent storage you may want to store the data in a database. Now friends, next is a php session underscore start function. Here in php, you have a session start function for start up the session. This session startup function starts a new session or re resolves a existing session. In case you already created session, then it will return a existing session and on the other hand if a session is not already created then the firstly it will create a session and then return a new session this is the syntax of session session start function
Now let's start with an example. This is a PHP tag. HTML tag, HTML tag close, body tag, body tag close, PHP tag, session, start, this is a function name. Next code in the PHP tag dollar underscore session where I am giving a user username is Gian here I'm using a eco statement for print session information are set successfully here I'm using a be a tag for break a line and in the body tag I'm using a tag it's a anchor tag it's for link link a file file name is session2.php here I am giving a text visit next page save it and here I am having a file session2.php dot session dot I already saved this file session underscore start function it's a HTML tag it's a body tag and PHP tag Here I am use, using just only eco statement. User is dollar session user. Now save it. Save the both files. Now compile this files. See session information are set successfully and this is a link. Visit next page. See user is Gian. These both files are successfully compiled. Now session is created.
now next is php session counter let's understand it with the example here i'm taking a new file save this file in C file XAMPP HTT docs this is my folder session count dot php session start function name if is set dollar session counter dollar section session for increment counter echo page views now this is the code first start a session if this is a condition session counter session count times is 6 else session is increment echo view pages here it will pick this condition this condition now save it it 
see page view 6 if here I will change 4 save it and refresh it see page view is 4 this is a count function now next is a how to destroy a session after creating session you want to delete all the session variables completely then in case we will use session underscore destroy function this is a function name let's start with code PHP save a file session destroy dot PHP session underscore first of all we need to start a session start session and then destroy just save it now execute your file now see session is destroyed now this file is successfully compiled session is destroyed now friends this is a PHP session friends I hope you like this tutorial let me know if you have any follow-up question in the comment section below we will coming soon with next part if you friends like our tutorial then please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon so that you get notified thank you happy learning